there. I was just doing some work, getting ready for week three of online learning. Let me just get this situated here. As I mentioned last video, April is National Poetry Month. So we have our agenda over here. I've got some announcements. Uh, we're going, I'm going to review some poetic devices with you today and then I'm going to read a few poems to you because this week you're not just going to be reading poems. Oh no, you are going to be writing your own poems. Okay, so let's get started. So um, my announcements for today, not as many as last video. Um, the first one is that um, you are going to fill out a survey telling me if you would like to do a Zoom meeting with um, your class, with, with our class. So um, be on the lookout for that. You'll have to do that today. My second announcement is to remember that when you are looking at your weekly overview and you click on the assignment, that takes you to just to, for you to see what the assignment looks like. For you to actually access your own copy, you have to go to Google Classroom to whatever week you're in. So this week will be week three and go to that assignment in Google Classroom so that you can get to your own copy so that you can type on it and stuff. And my last announcement is that during the first week of online learning, we started that stay home journal. We're gonna get back to doing that um, twice a week um, starting next week, so after this week. So don't worry, I didn't completely forget about it. We're gonna be doing that. Um, we'll, we'll start doing that again. It just, it got a little bit busy with um, poetry and everything. So we will be doing the Stay Home Journal next week in week four. That does it for the announcements. Now it is time to review some poetic devices. So I noticed that some of you guys struggled just a little bit with those. So um, I'm gonna read you some poetic devices um, just so that you are clear on what, a, what the poetic devices are because some of you were a little bit confused. Um, first one, metaphor. My team is a well-oiled machine. You are comparing your team to a well-oiled machine, not using the words like or as. Next one, simile. Minnesota is as cold as Antarctica. Or you could say Minnesota is cold like Antarctica. Either of those would be a simile. Number three, alliterations one is dozens of daring dogs drool all over the place. Dozens of daring dogs drool. The next one, personification. The tree branches danced in the wind. The next one is a hyperbole. It's, so an example of this is, I am so hungry I could eat a horse. You're so hungry you could eat a horse. You couldn't actually eat a horse. So that's why it's, it's an extreme exaggeration. Okay, number six, imagery. The red and yellow autumn leaves floated to the ground after a huge wind gust. You can actually see it in your mind. So that's how you know it's imagery. Lastly, onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Woof, the dog barked, or whoosh, the wind blew. So that's it for your review of Poetic Devices. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you. The top secret code word for this video for week three is, drum roll please, green. All right, the last thing we are going to do today is we are going to head over to the reading corner because I'm going to be reading some poems to you. So let's head on over to the reading corner. Hello and welcome to the reading corner. You gotta make sure that when you are writing your haiku that the first line has five syllables, the second line has seven syllables, and the third line has five syllables. So I'm gonna write one for you right now. I really love food. Food is my very best friend. Pizza is my fave. There you go, that's a haiku. And the last poem that I am going to read to you is one of my favorite poems of all time. 
This poem is about a pike, and a pike is a fish. So it's about a green and copper fish, that's the colors of it, um, swimming around in the water. It is called The Pike by Amy Lowell. In the brown water, thick and silver sheen in the sunshine, liquid and cool in the shade of the reeds, a pike dozed. Lost among the shadows of stems, he lay unnoticed. Suddenly, he flicked his tail, and a green and copper brightness ran under the water. Out from under the reeds came the olive green light, and orange flashed up through the sun thickened water. So the fish passed across the pool, green and copper, a darkness and a gleam, and the blurred reflections of the willows on the opposite bank received it. I don't know why, I've just always loved this poem for probably the past about four years. I read it in a class that I took in college and for some reason I just love the imagery in it. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I'm excited for this week. I know I say that every week, but I truly am excited. I love poetry. Poetry month is great. I'm really excited to see what you guys can come up with and what poems you can write. So I hope this inspires you and um, yeah, have a great week. Bye.